Welcome everybody to the Mystery Office. I am Jim, also known as TX Mystery of Mystery. Thank you for stopping by and spending time with me today. Um, we are going to get into uh, doing a uh, another chapter of reading American Angels Christmas Surprise, but we are going to take about maybe 15 or 20 minutes to kind of just monologue everything that's been going on of late. Um, as I gave a lot of update yesterday, um, I had to replace my refrigerator. It found out that the refrigerator is about, oh, this tall, and I'm sitting down, so it's about, it's a 4.6 4 cubic foot, uh, basically dorm fridge. So it's um, going to be the right size for a, an, an elderly couple like my wife and myself. So we're going to do that um, to kind of just uh, keep everything going accordingly, you know. We're able to put some uh, leftovers in there. Um, I replaced my medications and all that stuff today. We did laundry. So we're kind of like right now at the point to where uh, we're getting ready to have... Um, dinner later on about an hour about two or three hours from now and we're just kind of you know settling into now the winter routine now that the temperature's starting to get cooler and uh it's starting to stay cold in some situations so i hope that you will um uh enjoy your time as the seasons change uh, some like the, the cold weather some don't and I know that sometimes it can be a little bit uh, scary. So we're going to kind of just keep it going accordingly at this point. There we go. Make sure that that's going on there. And, you know, just kind of keeping everything going on. Um, for those of you lurking in the background, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope everything is going well with you. Um, and everybody who has come in so far has really enjoyed the new look of my stream. I'm kind of saying I'm, st I'm still somewhat flabbergasted in a good way myself because I was not expecting this. It was not, uh, I knew that this young lady who had done this, Layla Johnson, was very talented, but I was not aware of how talented she was. And I'm going to go ahead and give her just a quick shout out. And um, she does uh, do some gaming. She does feature her designs on her stream. So go by and you know check her stream out when you get a chance. Um, I don't know what her streaming schedule is right now, so I'm hoping that she'll put it up soon so I can go in and go, hi. Good to see you. Thank you for dropping some uh, love on me as far as the graphics are concerned. I appreciate it. And by the way, I, I did pay for these. It's not, you know, it was not a freebie on her part. So I just want to let, just make sure that disclaimer is out there. She is doing this as part of her career. So if you wish to go and, um, you know, support her or if you want to, um, you know, hire her as somebody who does your graphic designs you know go by and check her out um, she also has an instagram as well as a twitter go check you know look her name up go try go check out her graphics i think you're going to be impressed with the uh with what you see i mean i was impressed with the results of what i got i mean how often do you get to see a guy like me sitting on t sitting on a book with a quill pen in my right hand, you know, like you're about ready to stab the feather end into somebody. And then it's just, you know, uh, just me slaying there, looking like I have a, I have this great pose. And it's not a great pose to me. It's, uh, it's the caricature, and I love the caricature the way it was drawn. So, uh, Layla, well done. I appreciate it. Um, I do want to say that, you know, you guys, and I've had some new follows. I'd like to say uh, say thank you to Queen underscore Jelly underscore for, for following me. Um, she is somebody I met in another stream, so I'm very glad to um, make her acquaintance and uh, 
hopefully she'll swing by and check my stream out. She'll have a chance and kind of check everything out. I would appreciate it. I mean, this could be a lot of, you know, we could be having a lot of fun here at some point in time. So we'll just kind of see what happens, you know. We'll just kind of go with the flow, check everything out, do what we got to do, you know, not worry about it. You know, we'll just kind of see what happens. Um... That can be a bit annoying at times, having something going like in your ear. So we'll try to kind of keep it light. Okay. Um, but I do want to say, like I said, thank you very much for coming. Thank you for sticking around. Those of you who are hanging out in the background, welcome. Good to see you there. Hope you'll um, step up and say hello. And we will now... Uh, move over to the book promotion and this is the book that we're going to be reading from today this is American Angels um, Christmas Surprise uh, my, my my narrator is a lady named Tori Blanton she is a professional wrestler a federal agent and she tells us from her point of view because she and her partner Santana Garvin are professional wrestlers but they're also attached to a fictional federal task force in Corpus Christi Texas, and in this particular situation, everybody is scattered from that office for the holidays, which means um, the the Vaughn family is, is is at their home in Snyder, Texas, the Flying V Ranch, and Tori has come along for the ride, and she didn't come alone. She brought her mom, NCIS Deputy Director Abigail Quinn with her as well. So the Christmas holidays are going to be a little less lonely for Tori in this particular situation. So now what happens is, is that we're going to discover that, you know, she's going to find out there's some family that she wasn't expecting to be around. There may be a marriage wedding event somewhere around this holiday season that's that we'll read about in this book. And some other strange happenings that happened that nobody was expecting and we get to now kind of experience it through Tori's eyes and Tori's telling of a story okay and um, if you notice that my website's at the bottom on the screen it's johnsonmedia.biz um, for a clickable link you can go in here and you know that and there's also if you wish to uh, go make a purchase of other other items as well there is a mystery shop as well you can go and check out um, items such as t-shirts sweatshirts hoodies hats coffee mugs tumblers of sh different shapes and sizes even a wine tumbler if you're somebody who likes to uh, drink a lot during the holidays, there's something for you as well. Puzzles, laptop covers. Um, we have an entire desk uh, mouse pad that you can put your laptop on top of and have a mouse pad that goes all over for you. You know, I have a lot of different items, even some throws that are will keep you warm and cozy during the winter. So, you know, check out those items as well. And, uh, you know, maybe you'll find some for the holidays. However, I do want to stress that for um, holiday gift giving from my site, the dates December 11th through the 14th or the 15th are going to be cutoff days for last day to order and ship. Um, depending on whether you're going to take a, a week to do something or you're going to try to do it overnight. There's going to be some limitations during those during that week of uh, December, so just be aware if you decide that you're going to um, order. That way, you know kind of kind of what to plan for, you know, because at this point, um, if you're ordering Christmas ho Christmas holiday cheer for your families and friends, order now. You know, order now. That way, you can save yourself the headache 
of it arriving late after Christmas. Okay, that way you can kind of keep yourself from, you know, pulling your hair out and going crazy. In my situation, you notice that there's not a lot of hair up here to pull out to drive me crazy, so it's not going to happen for me. It's more like I might get scalped from the skin back, which I would not advise. It's not real pretty. It's bloody and messy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, <clears throat> but try that, you know, order early, whether you're doing it through Amazon or through uh, Printful like I'm doing with mine. Um, just, you know, take the time to kind of plan your expenses out and everything. Make sure that you're not going to have a problem of everything just kind of going around. My wife is doing something behind like a little elf. I don't know what's going on. But she's doing something. And we'll see what happens. Hold on just a moment. We'll be right back for just a moment, guys. Okay, we're back. <coughs> anyway, I was double checking on some things, making sure everyone was okay, making sure that nobody's going to die or anything, fall into a uh, wormhole and end up in a different time and space. So we'll see what happens. Um, also, if you wish to follow me, if you wish to donate to my channel other than to the St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital that is over here, right here above the chat, um, the goal is $500 that I'm trying to raise. Um, all donations are greatly appreciated and accepted. If you wish to donate to my stream personally, other than that, um, you can donate at the link that's inside the chat. Donations are greatly appreciated and accepted. And also, um, you can also find me on Instagram and Twitter. And I have a YouTube channel at the bottom of the channel page on the links. Go by there. And there's another link to my website as well if you wish to go to that as well. So there are a lot of ways you can um, support the channel. Or not, depending on you know whether you want to do it or not, it's okay. Um, it's one of those things where I started doing this just to kind of you know promote the books, promote the website, that sort of thing. That way, you can it can direct you to that. So it's just you know where you want to uh, land at that point. Okay, but I do want to say thank you very much, and I appreciate all that. And hang on just a moment. All I can say is in the end office. Anyway, um, but thank you again for you know indulging in my insanity and being a part of this. Um, we will, you know, I want to take just a few more minutes before we actually dive into the, the book reading, because primarily is that this is a story that 
um, I don't know how crazy your house is around Christmas time, but when I've been around family, it's been like a uh, you know uh, an exercise in chaos, organized or disorganized. And it's always one thing, one 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 crazy nonsense thing happening after another, and you know, and the the members of the family that host this usually have some kind of set structure, some set event schedule, and it just you know just kind of you know sometimes makes your mind just go completely you know they don't want to they don't want to you know uh, upset anybody but at the same time there's a chaos in the order and you're trying to figure out how well best well to manage it or help them manage it and then you know they just kind of they look like they're about to hold their heads right to keep from, from blowing completely out of proportion so that's the thing with me is I'm trying not to do that and um, because of that it can get a little crazy at times you know so we want to make sure that everything just kind of slowly but surely falls into place you know that everything just kind of hits according to everything going on okay so it's just nice to know that those of you who are here who are lurking in the background keeping me tabbed up while you're doing other things I appreciate that a great deal more than actually you will believe at this point so I hope that that will give you a chance to kind of see my stream and see me in a different light okay now that we have that all set up let's go ahead and go over to the book reading this is chapter 7 of American Angels Christmas Surprise our first full day on the flying V stretched into Thursday three days before Christmas what I didn't know was Dylan's family and mine Uh, let me see this. Planned on an ambush type celebration. Dylan and I stood out on the porch of the main house and looked up into the sky. I've been lots of places in the world and seen lots of beautiful stars, but none compare with these stars and being in your arms, lover. Almost poetic, my love, Dylan said into my ear as he cuddled me close. What's interesting, moves are being made to get us married. I think they, they think I don't notice. Everyone forgets I was raised by a Comanche wolf clan and a bunch of cops and spies. Gracie, too. As soon as their, her name was mentioned, Gracie appeared. All arms, legs, and pretty face like Jennifer's. Gracie was a straight-A student and all-star point guard for Corpus Christi Mary Carroll High School, Lady Tigers. Hey, sis, everything Okay. No, it's not. Gracie came under, came over, and leaned on me. The rest of the adults are deep into planning a Chris, your Christmas, your Christmas wedding. And if I miss my guests, Nikki and Carla will be here tomorrow for you to try on her wedding dress. But that's not the problem. Nor the rest of the family coming here. It's who's up at the cabin on Coyote Mesa, who appeared on the ranch, little sis. Ambassador Alejandro Aponte Sosa, Spanish trade emissary to the European Union. Graham took on an ill advised took on ill advised borders for the Christmas holidays, in the form of the so of Sosa and his family. I groan under my breath as Gracie hugs me. I'm sorry, Tori. It's not your fault, kiddo. Graham Cecile didn't know of our troubles with the La Familia de de, de Sosa of Spain. I looked into Dylan's lovely green eyes, and he nodded. It's, cool. it's okay. I got it. It's okay. It's time I put a stop to everyone's wild holiday wedding plans. 
Tori, once Graham is on one of these cultural tirades, she's a pain to redirect, Gracie said nervously. I'm the bride, right? She nodded. My wishes rule. And we have a break in the action. I walk into the main living room as Jason looked to me and shook his head. Jason, what in the devil's going on here? Why are you and Tori asked, shaking your heads at one another? Cecile, Jason began. No, Jason, I'll address my concerns as bride-to-be personally. I said as I walked up and stood nose-to-nose -nose with Cecilia Potter Vaughn. You invited Spanish trade emissary Alejandro Ponte Sosa, correct, madam? Cecilia nodded. His son Rodrigo caused multiple security threats in the last four months. I'm sure Ambassador Sosa informed you of the last incident involving his son. He did not, young lady. He informed me young Rodrigo involved, was involved in some minor misunderstandings involving TFCC and, your, and you as well as Dylan. When my arms folded, Cecilia's hostility surfaced. What is it, Tori? I walked around in a little circle with my arms folded, still folded. Grandma Cecile... I appreciate you wanting to assist Dylan and I in our journey to wedded bliss. And I also appreciate your attempt to share Western European culture at my nuptials. I wished you had asked me prior to making all these plans. I could have saved you a measure of expense. Rodriguez pulled weapons on us several times in the last few months, and those incidents were serious enough to get him deported. Deported? Cecilia asked in mild shock. Deported, I said quietly. He also shot Abby in the left shoulder, trying to kill Dylan or even Carla Baez. You really want these friends of the international community on your ranch with that on your conscience? I looked over at Dylan as he tried to contain his amusement. Jennifer and Jason hid their eyes as Mom shook her head. I looked over at Gracie, Tessa, and Paula as everyone I knew wasn't happy about the circumstances. Finally, Cecilia sighed. Ambassador Sosa will ask why he's being asked to leave before Christmas. Tell him your soon-to-be granddaughter-in-law will not tolerate his son's presence at her wedding. And in this country, the bride's decision on the guest lists are final. I smiled as did Cecilia. Plus, it will save this ranch from being sued by the Spanish government for medical bills, PTSD, and other related, and other related legal punitive damages. Meaning what, Tory? Why would their government sue my ranch? Jim asked. Just suppose Dylan gets a little crazy and wants Rodrigo's scalp. Literally. Jim nodded. Point taken, granddaughter-in-law. He smiled as Cecilia looked at him with astonishment in her face. What? I like the way she said it. Granddaughter-in-law. I never had one of those before. And I like to be nurturing and welcoming to one thank you, O mistress of Emily Post social graces. Jason tried to contain his laughter as Jim pointed at him. Stop that laughing, boy. I'm trying, but you sounded so silly just now. Jason fell into Jim's chest and both busted out laughing. The rest of the family, Cecilia too, all joined in the laughter. It's okay, Pop. We'll deal with the Sosa family. Then someone knocked at the door. You expecting anyone? Jim shook his head as Jason answered the door. To our surprise, the Sosa family entered the house. Ambassador Sosa, what brings you to our home this fine evening? Your home, Agent Vaughn. I was informed this ranch was Lady Cecilia's home. How can it be your home as well? Ambassador Sosa asked with a measure of fear in his voice. The dark, medium-built Spanish diplomat wore a gray brush popper shirt with heavy denim jacket and jeans and boots. His wife, Helena, stood a foot shorter with a similar outfit. Rodrigo stood tall as Dylan and wore an outfit similar to his parents, except his was all black denim. Jason deferred to Cecilia, who explained Alejandro, Helena. I married into this family. Jim's family has owned the ranch for over 150 years. Now, compared to what you own in Spain, it's a drop in the bucket of time. However, 
event, events have come to my attention which made my decision to invite you here a mistake. You have stayed long enough to, to refund your initial deposit of $1,500 and not incur any further expense. I must ask you to leave by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. May I ask what specific incidents you refer to, Lady Cecilia? Helena asked as Mom stepped forward. Abby! Hello, Helena. Mom said as I glared at her. Calm down, sweetheart. Rodrigo's mother and I were classmates at Yale. However, I have healed. I have a healed bullet wound in my left shoulder. No thanks to your son, my friend. If I may ask, Abby, how are you related to this situation? Mom nodded to me. Rodrigo whispered in his mother's ear. The bride? You're related to the bride? Yes. And CI Special Agent Victoria Dominique Blanton is my biological daughter. And trust me when I say this, Helena. She wanted to hunt your precious son down and kill him for wounding me. The fact CCPD found the pistol with your son's fingerprints all over the grip and ballistics matched the bullet they pulled out of me. You see my point? Helena looked at her husband and son with blazing anger in her eyes. So again, my son commits a crime in this country and you, Senor Ambassador, refuse to discipline him. What is wrong with you? Mama, everything will be would have been fine if Carla hadn't returned to this cesspool of Tejas. Helena walked over and slapped the taste out of Rodrigo's mouth. Mama! Lady Cecilia, I apologize for the idiotic males in mi familia. One has sown wild oats in his youth and was never punished for his sins. And this one intends to follow the same path. She walked right around and stood between Jason and Ambassador Sosa and faced her husband. You will honor the wishes of our host and leave at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. I will call the embassy and inform our officials that I, not Ambassador Sosa, will personally revoke Rodrigo's diplomatic immunity. Then Agent Blanton will be free to do her duty and arrest my son and make him pay for his crimes. When she, what, what she did next warmed every parent in the room. She grabbed Rodrigo by the jacket lapels and pulled him close to her. Esta comprende, chico? He answered sheepishly, Si, mama. He looked over at Dylan, who smiled like a hungry wolf. Keep that ill-mannered pendejo away from me. Dylan laughed. Ah, oh, what's the matter, Rodrigo Pequeño? Do you have a serious problem with a real young with real young men here in Texas? When Rodrigo advanced, Dylan warned, Careful, Chico, you might get seriously hurt. Then Rodrigo threw a punch. Dylan blocked it and caught him under the chin with a Tongan death grip. Well, well, my lovers adapted hand-to-hand -hand combat. Now that you've placed yourself in this precarious situation, you might want to back off once I let go. Failure to do so will place you uncomfortably in the Abilene Regional Medical Center Critical Care Unit. Dylan looked to Jim. Will you open the door, please, sir? Read my mind, son. Jim smiled as he opened the door. Senor Sosa? Jim motioned for Ambassador Sosa to exit. And I'd hurry out if I were you. Your wife looks like she's about to rip you to shreds. Ambassador Sosa exited quickly as Dylan escorted Rodrigo to the front door, then tossed him out on his peacock feathered tailbone. Helena walked to the door and looked back to me. Compromiso, Senorita Blanton. I nodded, pol nodded politely as Dylan, as Helena kissed the, both of Dylan's cheeks. You are a credit to your family and to the young woman you love. As she turned to leave, Dylan called, Donna Helena de la Cruz. Compromiso, Senora. She nodded, and Dylan picked up her right hand and kissed it. And Dylan said, Vaya con Dios, Senora. She nodded and exited the house. Now we can discuss the wedding. And so ends chapter 7. And yes, these chapters go by real quick because they're only like about four pages long. But at the same time, 
it also gives us a little insight into uh, my writing style, how I'm trying to do everything, how I'm trying to kind of entertain through the, through the through the reading, and I hope that as I entertained you with that last little bit, I thought that the um, reference that Jim Pond made to uh, his wife, Lady Cecilia Potter Vaughn, in the sense that he called her, oh, mistress of Emily Poe's social graces. You have to remember, he's an old ranch hand, U.S. Army, used to serve in Vietnam, and when he came home, he became a, he became a rancher again. Not an army officer, not a gentleman, he became a rancher. They're a different breed in Texas and other places where they have ranches for horses and cattle. So you have to look at it from the standpoint culturally that she was not, that, you know, he's not here to be nice to Europeans who try to kill members of his family. He's not going to understand, be understanding of people's uh, lack of uh, understanding from his point of view. He's not going to explain a lot of himself or his family because of you know, some of the situations his family's found themselves in from time to time. He's going to simply say, he's going to define Cecilia's pinky up attitude and let her remind her that, you know, you can be Emily Post as much as you want on this ranch. But when it comes to someone making a threat to my family, the social graces go out the window. And also, every legal interpretation of what you deal with diplomatic community and ambassadors goes out the window because this guy's on private property belonging to the Vaughn family and they are sticklers about their property rights <laughs> trust me we've dealt with it enough in all my books over the over the last few years that you get caught trespassing on this ranch you may not be walking off, you know. You, In fact, you may be leaving horizontally in a hearse or a coroner's wagon or an ambulance, one way or the other. If you're still breathing when you leave, then it's an ambulance, and you better pray you never try to come back because they will hurt you. <laughs> so it's probably one of the most secure ranches in the country, and... In the future, you might find that Jason and Jennifer hold a different law enforcement credential than they do now. But that's for another book at another time in place of history with other relatives being around at the time. Okay? So, uh, but we will, at some point in time, catch up and do other Christmas stories later as well. If you would like to hear... Um, another Christmas story. I have two others that are published, um, officially published, besides this one. One is called Savannah Christmas. I read this one last year. And um, there's another one called Christmas I Do's. I think I also read that one as well last year. So if you decide you want to do that, go to my website, look up the pictures for the book covers of these books, and then, you know, next time you're in chat, let me know. And we might do multiple book readings at the same time. And then you get to kind of keep up with which book you want to keep up with. All right? And we'll see what happens. I may uh, start doing some special YouTube stuff of my books as well. So keep an, you know, keep an eye out for that. And I'll let you know how that goes, okay? But I wanted to do this, and I wanted to give you kind of a heads up on what's going on. Thank you so much for being a part of the stream. Thank you for being so much part so much of the reading. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go get uh, a little something to drink, and I will be back shortly.
Hello again. Thank you very much for your patience. Thank you for coming back and joining me. Um, as you know, uh, we just completed doing a uh, uh, reading of American Angels Christmas Surprise Chapter 7. And um, I want to also take an opportunity to uh, recognize a couple of special lurkers who uh, like to come in and give me some um, love from time to time when they get a chance um, one of them is a very is one of my is my favorite um, uh, one of my fa is my favorite elf on twitch her name is Jericandra she's playing uh, Genshin Impact um, on her stream. Uh, she likes to shoot you with latex so that you have some kind of protection when you come into her stream. And she's really funny. I appreciate her a great deal. Um, she may be streaming as well as we speak right now, so that's a good thing. If you wish to go check her out, be my guest. Also, there is a lovely young nurse. that is um that also will come in from time to time and say hello and that is love you a latte and she is playing overwatch 2 on her stream when she streams so go by and um maybe you get the you can understand with her um the way she reacts to her game sometimes why laughter is the best medicine Okay, so get a chance. Go check those special streamers out. Tell them that Texas Mentor sent you, and let don't remind them to make sure that they say hello. Okay. Why do I have well, you know, news? Crazy news. What else is new? All right. So at this point, you know, we can also do one more chapter. Um, we're not going to, if we do, we're probably going to end up finishing this before Christmas. So I might throw in a special short chapter or short uh, unpublished work to uh, kind of get us in the mood for the holiday season. And it may be something along the lines, either a uh, local one called Christmas Flight or I might have one that's called The Colonel and the Duchess. And these are two unpublished um, novels, novelettes. So if I decide to do them, I understand that this is a copyrighted material and you cannot, you know, use a reproducer or whatever. If I find out it's out there and you take it, I'm going to take you out. Trust me. And I'll have a good lawyer to do it when I have it. So, as I said, we may do this maybe a little later. I don't know. But I do want to say to those of you who have, you know, done all this, thank you for coming in. Thank you for being a part of my stream. And if nothing else, we got a chance to kind of just read something else, uh, read a little more on the book. Let me take a look and see where I'm at on this. Yeah, um, yeah, we're we're at chat. We're going to be at chapter seven. So. Um, the thing there is that we will um, do another chapter at another time. And we'll space this out to where you can see, do one chapter at a time. It's four pages long, so it doesn't take long to read. So we may end up having a little more, um, and maybe doing a little bit more of um, what I would call filler time prior to that. But we'll see what happens. Uh, do, I do want to say that I do have some new sound alerts. Uh, I also have some channel point stuff that you can also play with. And you can still visit my website for a merchandise store for all your any holiday shopping needs. So please, take advantage. I'm also running, um, like I said, the St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital charity drive for the holidays. The goal is $500. Um, all donations are greatly appreciated and accepted. Okay? But I wanted to say thank you for being a part. Thank you for coming in and, you know, checking me out. Thank you 
for checking out my YouTube videos and following along as well. Okay, so with that said, let me see who we are going to raid. So it'll be a short stream today. Hmm. Yeah. She hasn't been on in a while. I think I'm a regular lady nuisance. See what happens there. So we may we may go raid somebody I haven't seen in a while, Lady Nuisance. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And we're going to raid Lady Nuisance. Let me go ahead and pull, pull that up. Pull up my Twitch. This may actually, I don't know, she, this may this may scare her. It may go crazy. But we're going to raid her channel anyway. There she is. She has some cute mouse ears as well. So we're going to go in there. And we're going to raid Lady Nuisance. So... Um, I just want to say thank you guys for coming in and being a part of my stream and we will have fun with her and uh, have fun. We'll see you later.